46-year-old nurse Jackie and Twilight megastar Peter Facinelli seem to prove vampires really are ageless, showing off his washboard abs and 30-pound weight loss on Instagram with nearly 90,000 likes. I love that we counted Peter's abs. So Peter Facinelli is in his home in Los Angeles with us today. How are you doing? You've got so much going on. You've got this new project. There are rumors or the, all the buzz about Twilight. And then you kind of break the internet with revealing this transformation. I saw Peter before pictures. I thought you looked great. You look tremendous in the shirtless version of you. What inspired you? Because so many times when people, you know, say, well, you already look good. Why did you need to do more? Um, what made you zero in on getting even more fit? Well, honestly, I just, I just had the time to do it because uh, with quarantine, there wasn't much going on and, and I had no excuses. So, you know, before you're always eating out, you're always on the run and now, I read this quote that said, if you come out of quarantine the same uh, as you went in, then you didn't lack uh, time, you lack discipline. Wow. And that kind of really resonated with me. That is so powerful. I like that. So you found the discipline. Did you zero in on um, a certain type of workout? I know you lost 30 pounds in two and a half months because you didn't have a trainer, you didn't have a gym to your point, you're in the house. So what did you zero in on to get that fit? You know, I, I I had a trainer before, and I've, I'm like the biggest whiner and complainer. I've broken <laughs> trainers. Like, 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 come on, Pete, come on, Pete, come on, come on, just one, just one, Pete, come on, no. So, um, you know, honestly, it just takes the 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 will and and your your mind to like to say you're gonna do it, and then. I didn't have a lot of equipment, so I tried to um, I tried to get some equipment, but everybody was like, you know, I couldn't get any because everybody had gone out and and, and got got equipment. So I I literally just did like just jungle gym equipment stuff at home that I would I would find. I did a lot of push ups. Oh my yeah. gosh, look at you! So had you ever done anything like that before? Because again, you're in L.A., you're a Hollywood star. People assume that you're always eating healthy. You're always you know, at Runyon Canyon, walking up and down and staying fit. Had you ever done anything that intense on your own? You had the trainer before, but on your own, that level of intensity? No, honestly, I never, I mean, I've always um, had to have somebody push me before. Yeah. And, and this time around, you know, I had nobody else. I couldn't, you know, when you're in quarantine and you're kind of stuck with not being able to go out, then you just, you're stuck with going in. And so yeah. I spent a lot of time with myself and a lot of time just, Focusing on my health and my and and I even took a hypnotherapy course because I, I was always fascinated with like the subliminal mind and the subconscious. So, you know that that helped me a lot too. Wow! I mean, you really dug in there. I know you showed off your results in your underwear. Um, it got people's attention, and you're using this though for a greater good. You're raising awareness about an important issue: prostate cancer screening. Both your dad and your uncle are survivors. And you even had your dad do a similar pose. I'm going to tell you, he looks adorable. And I don't need a washboard ab. He's got my vote. That might be the People's Magazine's sexiest man alive. Um, I'm sure that felt good to be able to raise awareness, especially because it's so personal for you and your family. Yeah, I mean, this it all kind of lined up because I was doing this work, these workouts, and then they came and said, hey, do you want to do this campaign to, to you know, help with prostate cancer awareness and my my dad and my uncle like you said both had it and and it's an important issue for me um so we did this campaign where you you know you do these shirtless pics in your underwear <laughs> to get attention and then and then uh you can tag three of your friends to Aww. do the same and and we did that and, and so i called out a bunch of celebrities and now they're all shy so i'm waiting for there's a couple You're waiting of them you want to, okay, we might have to call out some names and make them uh, keep their word. Um, you've been so busy, as I said, in addition to, you know, focusing in on health and, and your life, this movie that you have, that you you actually co-wrote it, right? It's The Vanished. Um, I wrote that. You yeah, wrote, wrote it. That. Yeah, and I directed it. And uh, and then and Thomas, Jane, and Anne Heche, uh played the leads. And, and, and Jason Patrick is in it as well. And they That's did a fantastic a great job. That's a I mean, how intimidating I, is that to have some of the people you've known for such a long time now bringing to life your work? I mean, this is a thriller. To your point, you wrote, you direct, you're doing it all there, and you've got this great cast. Well, I, luckily, I had such a great cast. So, you know, the, the directors that I've worked with that I really admire just kind of 
uh, they cast and then they let the actor do their job and they come in when necessary. So, you know, because I had such a great cast, I let Tom and Ann, they had great chemistry. I let them do their, their thing and I just focused you on are, capturing listen, it. You got it down, Pat, because everyone loves um, the film and, and what um, really the storytelling in it. I got to ask you just real quick, speaking of storytelling and everything's going on, uh, Twy Hard fans want to know what's going on. You have the new book um, out, Midnight Sun, just came out last month. What are you hearing? What do you know? Are we going to see you back on screen? And so the TwiHard fans can get off my social media and stop saying, I have to ask you this question. <laughs> wow. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Honestly, because vampires don't age, I don't know if we're, we'd be able to do it. Although I'm trying to age backwards, so maybe. Well, um, listen, you look we'll as see. young as you look as young now as you did then. So if that's the criteria that you don't age as a vampire, I can see this this next book and, and see you back on screen. Oh, awesome. I'm in then. Right. I'm going to tell him you said to, to, <laughs> to put me in it.